Hello guys and welcome back to my progression diary basically. Um, today I wanted to kind of talk about features uh, of the deck builder and in general uh, get into duels maybe a little bit. I've already played a few ranked duels, I'm on the brink of uh, silver and uh, yes I've done it all with this type of deck, it's my uh, monarch deck. It's not perfect yet, missing a few cards. I crafted my um, domain. So I have three now instead of one, which <laughs> improves the deck significantly. Ooh. And uh, yeah, especially since uh, we are only playing best of ones, which uh, I feel like if monarchs don't brick, they can be quite strong because side decking kind of destroys them a bit because you can't really change much in your deck, but your opponent can. And uh, yeah, once they know how to prepare, um, it's quite annoying. But uh, with just being one duel, I uh, found that cards like Thessalos, for example, going first, uh, are quite strong. I played against some kind of Cyber Dragon player, and uh, this card is only Twin Twister, so he could not get through my locks. And uh, yeah, that was basically the end of the game. Even though he pulled off some crazy uh, shenanigans with Tribute Summoning, Cyber Dragon and stuff, so he could actually go into the extra deck, which I did not see coming, but didn't... Uh, well, it wasn't enough in the end. Let's, let's just keep it at that. Uh, lost twice so far and won four times. And the two losses were because, guess why? Uh, <laughs> bricked. Yes. Absolutely no monarchs in my starting hand, which, I mean, makes sense, kind of. I feel like this is not the perfect build yet in terms of uh, consistency as well. And I like to run stuff like Allure of Darkness, maybe, or even Foolish Burial Goods to get cycling a bit, go deeper into the deck, uh, get to pantheisms and so on. But I think... I don't want to waste all of my crafting materials just yet, just to uh, do some kind of monarch build and improve it by like five to ten percent, uh, which I don't think is necessarily needed. I kind of want to keep them for actually either making a very competitive deck, which I don't see uh, right now because you can see my collection on the right hand side. I cracked uh, some more packs off stream or off video. Well, technically it was on video, but I realized my voice was way too silent compared to the matte sound effects of the packs. So um, that happened. Uh, got a few um, light swords because if you're familiar to this channel, you know I love them. If you're not, then you will find out if uh, you subscribe. Um, but for now, yeah, got triple Lumina, which is, <laughs> I feel like I'd be happy with one or two. Uh, I kind of want to triple Raiden, triple uh, Lila, which is, why is that a super rare in the first place? But also the wee monk gal was, so uh, disenchanted, uh, uncrafted, whatever you want to call it, that one. And yeah, you can see not the greatest pulls so far, have some kind of cards like Tanky, for example, that can come in handy in multiple different decks. Uh, maybe I'm going to build Infernity with Barrier, but no launcher, so... Uh, yeah, it's not too hard to get cards once you have gems, but I'm all out of gems for now. Got one Armageddon Knight as well, that's, that's always uh, nice to mention. OCG Bandless, by the way, uh, Chronograph Sorcerer at 1, but certain cards uh, not restricted on uh, on this ban list, which is quite weird if you're thinking about it. Um, one Hulky Fibrax, nice card, could do stuff with it. One uh, Ghost Reaper and Winter Cherries, so if I get DPE somehow, you know, that's that's gonna be a thing. And yeah, for well, my light swords, there's a lot of chaos cards still miss missing, mostly dragon shenanigans, but yeah, not quite there yet. And uh, like I said, I don't have that much crafting material yet, so I don't uh, wanna use it all up. But uh, what I found, uh, interesting features, you can draw five sample cards. I did not know this was a thing in this game, so Maybe for uh, the people that didn't know this either, uh, people that didn't participate in the survey at the start of the game, where you get like, I think, is it 50 or 100 gems or something? Um, yeah, they will not know this, so I thought I'd mention that. And I will be going into some some do wells, do well, depends on uh, how long it actually takes. Had to play already against Gem Knight FTK. It took a while, but they didn't kill me. So, yeah, locked them out of the extra deck after their combos, and uh, that was it. But got these cute inline skate. <laughs> Why ever you can have a companion that's inline skates? Don't know, but you can. You can. Well, let's see how that turns out. 
And at least I've got a hand. I've not got a good hand, um, but I can fix this unless I am being um, being disrupted. No Ash Blossom, no Effect Veiler, no Impermanence would be nice. But let's see. Is there something? No, okay. Well, that's good for me. It looks like they have an extra deck as well, which uh, is bad for them. Most likely could be still like a monkey trap deck that, uh, yeah, I guess I have to attribute them both. Um, that just runs an extra deck because of extravagance and also why not? And always better to run one because you have to do damage eventually, so you will have monsters on the board. Wait, what? Wait, what? That's, that's like a Duel Links card, right? Doing you have turn if your opponent summon three or more times, can special summon this card from your hand. Unaffected but loses. Well, I, don't, I couldn't care less. Interesting but not interesting. Why would you play that card? I mean, it gets you stuff on board, granted, but it doesn't get you good stuff on board. Um, question is, what's my hand? Oh, I can surge actually. Makes this whole thing a bit. Mm, no, it's still fine. I can still set up stuff. Wait, oh yeah, you don't choose two, you only choose one and then choose the second one. Keep forgetting that that's the case. Uh, what do I summon? Probably another ether, right? Yeah, I want to be able to do stuff during my opponent's turn. So adding this back to the hand is probably what I'm wanting, what I'm wanting to be doing. And for the end phase, I will be doing this. <laughs> See, usually I'll go for tenacity, but that's not an option right now. What's better? Um, I think I'm gonna go for domain. Could have gone for the monarchs erupt, but not sure if that's. I don't know what I'm playing against. Uh, I feel like the domain is fairly, fairly all right. Let's get cracking. Um, can still trigger my trap card in the graveyard. I could get another uh, wee squire out, but I don't think I want to. Um, so I will do all of this. Maybe I should have kept this in the hand. I mean, I'm, hmm? I might be using it eventually. Thought if they wipe my board now, then that's gonna be awkward. And since we all have at least possibly one, one weird lightning storm, then uh, yeah, that could come in handy for them. Well, let's see. Okay, <laughs> that happens. Why would you play this card? Rank six deck? Don't know. Is it? Or is it just stall? I guess it looks like it's stall. I have absolutely no idea what this is meant to be. Should I just? I think I should. I think I should be. Um, I think I'm gonna go for this now. Unaffected by card effects, that's fine. Come on, come on, and there we go. With Monarchs it's important actually to turn off uh, that they choose the chains for you. Because, uh, you know, um, with the chain blocking and stuff. Normal summon set, summon by the effect of no, I could, but do not want to. I want to know what this is in case this is something annoying. And I kind of want to get rid of the said cards, but I don't think I'm gonna. I don't think I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna take a card that could help me next turn. Send cards to the graveyard, okay. So I'm gonna go for another one of those. And a Frost Blast. And I'm gonna special summon. Hmm. <laughs> I'm gonna do. Yeah, I'm gonna. Wait. Why not get in? Uh... Erebus. I'm gonna go for Erebus. Let's see how that fares. All right. Activate. No. Nope. Not activating anything yet. Quillbot Hedgehog. Okay. 
Well, that was a waste of my Stormforth then. I thought maybe they're playing some old school flip flip deck. Ooh, Monarch Erupt. That's actually quite neat. And minus five. Okay, so what I'm first gonna do is uh, Frostpass has to banish one, right? Okay, so I will be doing this. I will be searching, and I know exactly what I'm gonna search, which is tenacity, because that gets cards into my into my graveyard that I can use for various different reasons. Could get another pantheism and cycle a bit, but I don't think I want that right now. Don't think I do. Let's hit the tenacity. They already know that I have this, so on we go. What am I searching? I think I need more resources rather than anything, so I will be grabbing a cheeky doom uh, return. Um, gonna activate the effect of domain yet? Uh, no, I don't know if that's going to come in handy or not, what these set cards are, but I think if it would be a card that destroys uh, my spell traps, we would already know. I'm going to activate my return. And then I'm going to start my Frost Blast. Um, I think... Uh, yeah, I think I have to, right? Frost Blast. Banish. Tenacity and destroy this one. What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? Nope. Oh, Soul Judgment. I feel like they could have used, I mean, what would they have used that for so far? Um, hmm. Okay, I am gonna activate this and hope they don't have another Solemn Judgment because that would be. More than annoying. But they might. They actually might. I mean, it's fine. It's not the end of the world. Would be gone then. Let's see. I think we're in a very good position. Uh, that being said, I mean, I don't think their deck is overwhelmingly strong. I'm being quite honest here. The question is who do I go for? I could extend here with the search I get from uh, return. I could extend, but I actually don't need to. With uh, with my escalation, I still have a play during their turn. I might actually grab Mobius. We'll see. If they're playing a trap deck, then Mobius might be a good good shout here. Um, even though Ether is technically probably better, but. Uh, Am I playing it too safe with uh, with getting Mobius, or am I not? No. Yes. Okay. Getting this one. Get more cards to the graveyard. Okay, so this one first. Chain blocking is important. Um, that from deck to your hand. Okay, what, what, what am I going to get? Oh, I'm going to get Mobius. Come on, I'm going to do it. Let's do it. We will never know if it's bad or good if we don't try. Um, select the cards to target. I have to add a card back to my hand. Could go for the Frost Blast, actually. Yeah, I get that into the graveyard. Could have gone for Pantheism, to be honest, but I kind of want to keep the Monarchs Erupt. And I've already used Tenacity, I think, this turn, so possibly Frost Blasting it and setting up one for the next turn, maybe. Could be nice. Could be nice. Okay, Heavenly Monarch. There we go. Cards of the hand. Mobius. Nice. Erebus, actually, um, send cards to the graveyard. Okay, um, we're gonna send one of these. And we're gonna send the other one. And yes, I'm gonna actually do one in this hand. Because I've got my Frost Blast. To get this one out. Um, nope. 
Yeah, Call of the Haunted, that was not a great card. And I could still be, what, four? I mean, more damage? No, that's fine. That is absolutely fine. I shall hit and hit again and slowly but steady win the game. Don't have to rush it. Who knows? Maybe something crazy is going to come up. Who knows? Don't have any negates. It's not pendulum, so we might have to be wary of some board breakers here. Like, uh, what's that call card called? Evenly matched. That I would not be happy about. In the slightest, actually. But I like the animations. I do like how it looks like. Reminds me a bit of League of Legends from the style. Um, I feel like it looks quite similar to like how uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Omega would have looked like if they had a bit more resources, probably. Um, I think for like, if it had been made by a big company, it's... I don't want to say it feels sluggish. I feel like it looks nice enough. But, um, I don't know. You, you'd expect them to do come up with something crazy or something like, I don't know. And uh, it just looks like... I think average is probably like uh, what, what you can call it. Could I finish here? 2-8, 2-8, 800. Um, 2 eight, two eight. yes. I'm very terrible at maths, but that should already be enough even without getting us to attack position. But, you know, the more damage, they could be like a Stego site. What was this, this, this card called again? that they played. Ugh. Yeah, that, that wasn't hard. That was not hard. At all. Okay, rank up. Ooh, silver tier. Got cheeky elk or reindeer or something going. That's nice. These packs, uh, I'm not sure if I like these tickets yet, but we shall see. Okay, let's look at, look at the opponent's deck, actually. Wait, whoops. I want to see confirm opponent's deck. Synchro. Is that the starter deck? It looks like it's the starter deck, but with no, it's not quite. It's actually like a. They run cards that are good. Like Trishula is technically a good card. Uh, technically, Junk Destroyer isn't terrible um, in a go second Synchro deck. Uh, Chaos Ruler, great card. Wish I had it for my Light Sworn Chaos deck. Junk Speeder, great card. But. Um, yeah, must have been my, my lock then. But also, it's cards like uh, Scrap, uh, Iron Scarecrow, uh, Dust Tornado, uh, Coffee Haunted, I don't know. <laughs> Kunai with Chain. It's, it's quite it's quite strange how you run cards like Satellite Warrior, Junk Speeder, but then you, you also run cards like Kunai with Chain. Like, don't know. Or, or like Ash Blossom in comparison. Did they not have any card that's better than Kunai with Chain? I don't know, like even even Warrior Returning Alive makes some sense in this deck, like some sense. Because they are warriors, so if you want to combo again next turn, I don't know, great. But why Kunai with Chain? Well, you know, to each their own if uh, they feel like they like it. Uh, I've not said anything about Shard of Greed because, you know, it's, it's draw two cards, eventually. Maybe Duel Links meta has confused a few people. I mean, there will be people coming from Duel Links, so... Uh, they might learn um, <laughs> how different the meta actually is in comparison to Duel Links, but, you know, it is what it is. Let's get my rewards from this, and for the end of the, the video, should I open some more packs? I don't have a thousand yet, don't have a thousand yet, plus I also don't know what I'm actually going to get out of it. Oh, now I would have a thousand. I can frame too, well that doesn't sound like that's how it should look like. Um, new mission, reach rank to dual rank gold, yeah, alright. And all I get is a stupid, yeah, okay. You know, you know. Um, let's look at the shop. Look at the shop. Secret packs, nope, nope, nope. I do want to, just because of the Adamant's invaders, but it's a bit much for it, I feel. It's a bit much for it. Okay, I want to check. How much is the structure deck? 500. Ooh. I do want to get it. I really do. I really, really do. Hmm, what's in it? Okay, these kind of useless. Uh, that's quite okay for Celine. 
extra deck isn't great. Um, this card, Duelist Alliance, is actually one I'm looking for. So looking for other pendulum cards. Um, don't know, Unwavering Bond. <laughs> when your opponent activates a pendulum monster with effect, yeah, well, without side decking, that's kind of bad. Heavy Storm Duster is nice. Don't get me wrong, that's that's quite nice. Wavering Eyes, nice card. Do I need another Sky Iris? Actually, no. Uh, Pendulum Call, nice. Other than that, Harmonizing is alright. I think you can buy it once. Pendulum, there's cards that I do want, especially from other deck. Yes, come on, let, let, let's get it. I'm, I'm getting it once. Buying it once. No opening packs for now. Buying it once. And uh, yeah. Should I? No, I think I wait till I have uh, another thousand. Well, that's it for today. Uh, I will come up with more decks that I can play besides Monarchs because um, it will get quite boring. But I will be grinding more Monarchs, so you know, get used to that. <laughs> if you're wanting to subscribe and like, and I hope you had a as good of a time as I did because I do really enjoy this game. Um, we'll see how it feels once we run out of uh, the gem fuel and uh, cracking packs isn't a thing anymore and you reach a rank where you can't really be playing online anymore because you get corp stomped with everything that's not meta, which will happen eventually. Um, but for now, hope you have a good day.